Hello, I'm Grant Fierro. This is Mike Medina, as always, and today we have Trevor Colden with us. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 125 skate fillet. Um, so today we'll uh, do a little interview with Trevor. Maybe talk about what went down this week. Yeah. Or not talk about next week. We'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> so how are you? How you doing? Doing well. Doing good, man. Dude, it's pretty sick. Therapy. I feel like. I was gonna say, I feel like I should start this off by saying, why, why are you two in the same room, sitting next to each other right now? Because that's gonna be the main question everyone's wondering. Yeah, we never really do guess in the same room. Because so. I was all, I wasn't really feeling a. Uh, I mean, I was down for a Facetime type deal, but I wanted to be yeah, yeah. With someone and just like, yeah, you know what I mean, like. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I feel like you two, you two look like you should be hanging out anyway. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a sure, tight sure. thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're chilling. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, I'm, I'm stoked to have you, Trevor. I've been fucking hyped on this, uh, this little thing all day. No, hell yeah, same here, man. Like I've been fucking <laughs> and great. Anyway. So, so your knee. That's what you're coming back off, right? The knee injury. Yeah, I got into a um, dirt bike incident like about two and a half. Almost three months ago, and uh, this lady decided to take a left-hand turn when we had the right-of-way, but we were in the bike lane. And uh, on a dirt bike, you said? Yeah. You were in a dirt bike in the streets? <laughs> but it was like right outside of the neighborhood, so it was like back roads type deal. Okay, more of like a, a rural, a rural type setting. But it was in the bike lane. Like it wasn't. <laughs> we, <laughs> we went to go get tacos. Me and my brother. Me okay. and my. Let's show you. Sean, say what up. How you guys doing? <laughs> Dude, this episode's <laughs> sick already. <laughs> this show is great, Me dude. Me and my brother went to go get tacos. We got tacos. We're heading back to my house in the bike lane and uh this lady decided to take a left hand turn but she was kind of hesitant and stopped so we had the right away so we kept going and then sh she just kept going as well and i t-boned her at like 45 miles per hour and fucking ragdolled on the pavement for like 60 feet and oh god damn dude wasn't didn't you didn't you just come off of some ankle shit right before that <laughs> yeah. God damn, boy! Back, yeah, yeah, tough. back, back to back. Uh, <laughs> my brother is a wrestler, and uh, me and him were just like fucking around one night, and he kind of fucked up my knee a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, but everything's good now. Everything's good now. Like I'm chilling. I've seen a specialist, and he he, he said like nothing. Needs needs to be like surgery, no nuts, That's, nothing like that. Um, totally. Does does Nike help you out with shit like that, as far as like physical therapy or specialists or something like that? Whereas, um, there's this homie Rager that lives right down the street, like maybe a half a mile from where I'm from right now, and uh, mm -hmm. he's actually the Nike trainer. And, oh, no shit. Yeah, he's been coming over here, here and there, and. Help me out and do therapy and shit. And look, did yeah. you find out that he lived that close prior to you moving there? What up? Like, did you know that the Nike trainer lived that close before you moved there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. me and Rager are boys. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. But he's he's been on this uh, he's been on this trip across country, like in Europe and all this other shit. He's been doing his own thing for like the last. Does he year. work with like the other Nike athletes as well? Yeah, he goes to all the events. Oh, that's fucking crazy. It goes to all the contests. So, say, like, Street League, X mm -hmm. Games, and all that stuff. He's there with us, and if there's anything that we need, he helps us out. He's that's the, sick he's he the fucking close. best. I think, I think a lot of people, like, from the outside looking in are very, like, they kind of are really curious about, like, what Nike kind of does for their riders. And obviously you're one of, like, the, the faces of the brand, so to speak. And I yeah. think that, like, I think that like for them to like give you offer these resources and like have these people to help you get better like does it do they kind of like like push it on you not like push it on you but do they kind of like hey Trevor you should go do this you should go do this or is it kind of like here here's what's ready for you if you want it take it kind of thing 
Wait, what do you mean? For what prospect? Like as far as like physical therapy or like, um, you know, just oh, coming back from injuries. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. They they push it for sure. Like if you're yeah. injured, they're like, hey, here's this dude. Here's the homie rager. Uh, go see him. He'll help you out. Get back on track. And he lives right down the road from me. So it's like, it's easy. Perfect. Yeah, it's right, perfect. right, right, right. So, yeah. Totally. I think that's I think that's rad to hear because, I mean, a lot of people will throw around the whole – corporate blah 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 this is blah 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 but i mean if, the, if if a company is genuinely helping their riders especially injured riders get better then how do you have an issue with that you know what i mean exactly, exactly. yeah do you think that like like this situation would have gone worse or like been it took longer maybe without Nike's support good question that's a good question um no i mean yeah, I mean, you no, can they're, oh, they're, they're no, no, no. Yeah, they, I have, have, I got an MRI, I got a specialist, and all this mm -hmm. other shit. But I, I went to a specialist, and he told me that I didn't need surgery. I didn't need nothing like that. I just needed to do some home therapy remedies. And mm. what exactly did you do to your knee? I my toes broken, and my ankles fractured, and my uh, when I hit the ground. I T boned her at forty five miles per hour, so right. I fucking ragdolled for oh like fifty feet. I ragdolled like just me on the concrete. So, you're, so basically, your knee is like just road rashed or swollen, or like what's up with like your leg in general? I mean, it, everything is fine now, but right, right, right. Happened, uh, yeah, the and you know how like dirt bikes have clutches? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the end of my clutch was broke. It didn't have a metal ball on it because usually they have a, like a metal rod, like ball. So right, I get what you're saying. Not sharp. And my dirt bike didn't have that. And I just ragdolled on the pavement and my dirt bike fell on me and it stabbed me in the side of my knee and it fucked up some ligaments. Oh, fuck, yeah. man. It was pretty bad. And then uh, the lady that hit me, I told her just to, I was like, hey, I'm in the bike lane. I'm, in, I'm just riding a dirt bike. You can dip out if you want. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm riding a fucking dirt bike. It's not insured or anything. You're more than welcome to dip out. So she dipped out. So I got, oh, yeah. She just made sure that I was alive. Alive? My brother. <laughs> My brother helped before my brother even picked me up and moved me to the curb. She already <laughs> dipped out. So, no shit. Oh yeah, that is so awful. This happened in LA. Yeah, right in Montebello. That's a fucked up story, man. I think a lot of people were kind of curious, like what happened and how it happened. Yeah, it, it was kind of jacked, but everything's good now. I seen a specialist. He said I didn't need surgery or nothing like that. I got an MRI. He just told me to do some home therapy remedy type deals. Right, right. They got the Nike homie helping you out. That's what's up, dude. Hell yeah. So now you've been you've been doing all this home stuff. Um, how long have you been back on your board now? For like two and a half weeks. Okay. Yeah. Just trying to get you my You flipping board. it? You flipping yeah. your board? Yeah, I'm jumping down stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Let's go out the barracks, right? They had they had a uh, yeah. what's it called a relay race around the park. Yeah, all he had to do was ollie the tents there, and like there's like nine people trying to jump down this thing at once. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some Instagram. You know, I tried right. to switch you. Know, you I, away. Didn't, I didn't get it, but I, I tried to switch. <laughs> I got the footy. Instead of instead of an ollie, you try to switch you. <laughs> Dude, people I are, tried. No, he rolled away. That's so fucking tight. I love it, bro. Dude, it was Um, yeah. So I mean, you're getting back on your board. Um, I mean, before these two injuries, like it seemed like you, there was a lot going on for you, right? There was, I mean, push, yeah, pushing been, Chronicles. It's a little while ago now, but that's. I mean, it's kind of been injuries since then. So, like, how was it working on those and like? How was it doing uh, both those projects? It was no. I mean, the the Chronicles Three project. I mean, they had everything planned out, and we just went on a bunch of trips and got everything uh, taken care of. Uh -huh. But I got injured with a broken arm. I broke my yeah. arm. 
had my mom. I moved my mom and my little brother out here. Okay. Got a place in the valley. Um, my little brother has hemophilia, and the place that I got was too far for the nurse to come out for him. And I had to sell that place, move back to downtown with my mom, my little brother, and older brother. And then they moved back to Virginia because it was just too hard for nurses and shit for his situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, everything's good now. I got two dogs, moved to Monterey Park, Montebello area, and got my older brother out here now. I'm just trying, like, everything's fine now. Like, yeah, I've, I've been through some shit. Like, I broke my arm, fucked up my knee, have a broken toe, fractured ankle. But everything's fine now. Like, I'm jumping down shit and just trying to get back on the ball. for our X Games Real Street Party comes out. Uh, the deadline is, what is it? Uh, have they like, even uh, released the, lease for, the I, list for that? What up? Have they even released a list of dudes for that yet? No. Mike Sinclair hit me up to do the – Mike Sinclair hit me up to do the X Games Real Street. So oh, I was like, I'm down. There's seven – I think I'm pretty sure there's seven dudes that are in it, but I don't exactly know who is actually in it. Okay. I think, that's, I think that's pretty sick to not know, honestly. No, like, yeah. While you're for Mike it. Sinclair is the fucking man. He hit me yeah, up hell yeah. two months ago, and he's like, you trying to do this? I'm like, yeah, I'm down. That's sick. What, what is his role with Nike? He is ah, – I, I, I don't, don't want to like, uh, word it wrong, but I'm pretty sure he finds, like, all the flow people yeah. and yep. helps out. That's what I thought, too. That's what it seems like he kind of manages, like, the um, – AM, like, yes. Flow and TM. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, for sure. Um. I think actually, Mike, am, am I right that Mike Sinclair, it, Real Street, is his whole idea? He, that's what I, I'm pretty sure he, that's what I was going to think, that's what I was thinking too, because didn't he refer to, didn't he talk about it on that nightclub episode where yeah, he's eating a yeah, bunch of food? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, super right. rad. Yeah, that's badass. All right, well, I mean, shit, that's, I mean, if you're going to get a call from Sinclair, it's probably a pretty good, like, phone call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's probably not whack. No, you ever, for sure. You Sinclair to- and Bob Reynolds. You know Bob Reynolds? I've never met him. I've, I've met Sinclair a few times, and he's fucking dope. He's the best dude in the world. For sure. Yeah. Have you ever uh, have you traveled with Sinclair before? Yeah, I've been on a, one trip with him. A Nike trip? Yeah. But it was long. No, no, it wasn't even a Nike trip. It was just we skated I, when I used to live in Carlsbad. Okay, yeah. Right, right when you first moved out, huh? Remember when I used to live in Black Box? Yeah. Yeah. We used to see him, yeah, that's me, cool. and Mike Burnett. He used to okay. go out skating a lot. Wow. Yeah. So that, that what? Was, so you, and right. Then, and how? How and did that? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Uh, Ishad hit me up, and he's all. Oh. Yeah, Ishad. I didn't know he had to do it then. No, yeah, Ishad. Me and Ishad connected before that at Tampa M, like a year before that when I was still in America. Mm-hmm. And no, yeah, Ishad hit me up. He was all, Nike's like, trying to do some stuff, this, that, this, that. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm so down. Yeah, I bet. Nike is the shit. All I want to do is talk to Nike, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, after that, we just connected and went on a trip yeah, and wild. met up with Scuba and Scuba's boss, Casper. What was what was the first Nike video project that you were in? Chronicles 3. That's what I thought. How did that come about? Uh, come about? Um, somehow, I got lucky and was able to ride for him, and we started a video. I mean, I mean, like, who hit you up? Did somebody hit you up saying, "Hey, Trevor, are you down to do a part?" Or like, was it Jason Hernandez or what? Well, no, it was already a done deal. Like after me and Scuba linked up after. Ishad hit me up. Ishad hit me up and Scuba hit me up. And I met up with Scuba and Casper, Scuba's boss. Right. And then, uh, yeah, we just talked about a bunch of shit and it worked out. But the first project was Chronicles 3. 
specific at Nike that was like, hey, we want you to be in the in the next Chronicles video? Or did, or did that kind of just like, it just, it just started happening? Because in there's a weekend buzz with the Otis where he says that, he, like, you get an email from Nike that you're going to be in this video. And then yeah, that's like, what I was thinking of, too, the email they thing. Open, they're like, the Otis, so if you didn't check your email, you are going to be in it. Yo, that's what I was thinking of, too, the whole email thing. Like, did they, did they fucking email you and say, yo, Trevor, we got now, you. Nowadays, I mean, the, the Nike has a big team. So yeah. they have to, like, they have to section it up. They can't just do everything with everyone. So right, that makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. So back when the Chronicles three came out, it was Chronicles one, Chronicles two, and then Chronicles three came out. Mm -hmm. And now there's there's not going to be another Chronicles video. Right. It's going to be they go on trips and they're going to put out like a montage type deal. But got you. No, yeah. But uh, the Chronicles 3 was, yeah, they were like, hey, fuck it. You're not working on anything right now. Let's film a video part. And I was like, yeah, let's fucking let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> that's tough. That's <laughs> rad. And then, guys, did you get your end or the back nose moment? Was that in Hawaii? Yeah, it was in Hawaii. And you were born in Hawaii, right? Yeah. Okay, that, well, that's sick. Were you on the same island? What island were you born on? Oahu. And the back nose moment was on? Oahu. That's tight. Uh, was by, that? Ray by BP. Wow. Yeah. Was that a spot? Right, that by, shout out, <laughs> right by BP. Shout out Chad. Shout out Chad. Who's <laughs> Chad? He owns BP. Oh, okay. shop. <laughs> he showed us his spot. Shout out Chad. <laughs> shout out Chad. <laughs> so that, that, was, that, that wasn't a spot that you had like known was there. You guys just came across it. The homie Chad showed you. Oh, yeah. He did. And, and you, you rolled up to this hubba. This was your end, which I think is actually a cool story is. So, so was Zach Mills Blunt your first thought when you saw this thing? Well, yeah, we were skating uh, right across the street from his skate shop is a skate park that we skated almost every day mm -hmm. just to warm up. And then he just showed us, uh, showed us spots. Nice. And yeah, how was that? How was that dude that uh, wanted you guys to repaint the logo? Was that funny? Oh fuck yeah! I remember that. He was. It looks like it. Yo, he was tripping when he first came out and we were skating it. But then after he found out that, what, what was what happened? Uh, did Jason no, 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 tell him? No, 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 not Jason. Uh, yeah, Jason and Scuba and Eric. Costin. He was all. You let us skate this hubba. Right after we're done. By the time he's done skating it, we will go to Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever fucking hardware store, get the same exact paint, and paint it. Like, there's no worries at all. Your shit's going to get repainted. That's what he said. And the guy said, the guy's like, okay. Oh, yeah. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, I mean, who the fuck has ever done that before? That is amazing. <laughs> no, I've yeah. never heard that shit in my life. Yeah, yeah, as soon as we're getting it, we'll color match. We'll color match. We'll make sure shit's good here. Like, what have you ever heard of that shit in the That's history nice. of skating? That is no, nice. yeah, for sure. Scuba and a bunch of the homies went to the hardware store, got the same exact color paint. Yeah, it looked like it. Painted it. Matched and it he up. was so in awe, he was all... What the fuck? Why are these folks doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking that's hilarious. No, yeah, so was, so after, it. see, you land this back nose one. Did, did you start painting and you let everyone else do it? No, well, I, I painted that. I mean, me and Lance. <laughs> you and Lance? Oh, yeah, actually. After yeah, the yeah, nose yeah, one, yeah, Lance yeah. Mountain painted that's that. That's sick. Oh, <laughs> Lance Mountain painted it. That's fucking crazy. Help me out, man. Oh, that is. That's crazy. fucking. That what a story. What a fucking story. Lance is painting it. So world, world that. famous, world famous artist helps you repaint a hubba after hey, back nose blooding. Ass, bro. I was so stoked. How <laughs> no shit, Lance. So yo, really helped me paint that. <laughs> it's a masterpiece wow. at that point, dude. Boy, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Was this game out to a part where you where you rode to uh, Killer yeah. Cam? What is that? This is that is that the one where you rode to Killer Cam? The the song in the uh, skate mental oh, part? That is, right? That's the push project. That was for the band. Oh yeah, the, that was that. Which oh, one is that? Lil Wayne. 
Pikachu. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's what it is. My bad, you got it. Now, now that you say that, let me. I have a question about this video. Oh, yes, yes, about the Pikachu part. So, <laughs> you skated to me before they were bad and bougie popping off. All right, yeah. so you skate to Pikachu. You there's a clip in this video part where you backsmith the flat bar, and it's the whole clip's in slow mo, and there's fire, fire. everywhere. Was that Stab's idea? Yeah, and what did you think? I was like, down. did, did like, he run it by you or stab it? I'm about to put some, I'm about to put some fucking some fire in your back, some fire on this shit. And <laughs> I was like, I don't give a fuck. He, 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 he actually picked out the song as well. He picked because oh he, no shit. He picked wow. it out. Yeah, right. Brad That's fucking point. knows the shit. That's and the, I don't know. If I heard the song and I was like. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, and you never heard Pikachu until then? Nah, I never heard that shit. <laughs> I was talking with Migos, but yeah. I never heard that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's not one of like their bigger songs for sure. That, yeah. That's sick, Brad. That, dude, the backsmith is always cracks me. That, that, <laughs> like that if I think you're welcome to skate metal part, it's the backsmith. Like just, like not because there was Wayne earlier stuff. And I remember that. Yeah, but they but it wasn't on fire. But but the, the slow-mo backsmith with fire everywhere. Is like, <laughs> I, was, I was in shock too. I was like, they really did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so oh, that's, that's so I was, sick. I was so stoked on. I was like, oh fuck it, whatever. How did um how did they get how did they turn you pro? Because uh, I don't remember, like, was it at a premiere? Was there No, um I had to come out with that Pikachu part. Uh -huh. Welcome to Skate <laughs> <laughs> the Pikachu part sounds yeah, sick, dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It sounds oh, sick. Dude. You're making me laugh. Um, and then I had to come out with a Thrasher interview and a Thrasher cover. Okay. Oh, was it what? Switch train? Down? Front view. Down. Fuck, what is that stairs they called? It was the 6th or 17th. Oh, I know. No, I'm talking about it. Is, yeah. In Holly, or San Diego. Mm -hmm. The one that. Wes Kramer, fakey healed over into the bank. Yep. But the other side. Oh. Actually, I know exactly what stair cell you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's, Henry. yeah. That's the spot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, not the side. I mean, not that one. People, I mean, people skate it, but that thing is fucked. People Dude, the, pe oh, the Pikachu down. part goes. Dude. What? Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, for sure. No, but hey. like, okay, we just had we just had your homie um, uh, Jacob Messick's on here last week. And I know that like I was first introduced to him in the push part, and like what 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 was like kind of like the role his role in that, or like how did that kind of come apart or come together I should say. What's up? Yeah, yeah, like the whole push part all together I guess. Who did you have to push? Steve Bear hit me up to push. So mm -hmm. okay. And what did is you know? Did you know that it was going to be sectioned off into like specific episodes like that? Yeah, they gave us the the whole link down on what was gonna happen. Like we had to put out a bunch of interviews and then Yeah, yeah. That. I do that first season of push was the shit. Yeah, I was uh, dude, I, I was so hyped when I heard the fucking killer cams, dude. You have no idea. So Dog, that is one of my favorite songs of all time. Have you ever listened to that song in a fucking car with subs? <laughs> If you never have dog that <laughs> shit you. fucking wags, dude. Like you can hear you can hear that song from a fucking block away, bro. Oh, killer camp. That's so is that your choice? Top five favorite song. I mean I, Yes. I, I mean I sent him a bunch of songs, but they had to get the rights yeah. to uh -huh. you know I mean yeah. it was a barracks Nike type deal, so they had to get the rights to the song. To kill a camp. They told yeah. you we got the killer cam rights, and, and you were fired got, up. And then they got the killer cam shit, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh fuck, it was good." <laughs> I was so high. Ask Grant when that shit dropped. I was so stoked. <laughs> he was fired up. And you skated to Wheezy, Carter two, Carter two Wheezy. Yeah. What'd you skate to? Hustler music, right? Hustler music. Yeah. <laughs> shit, dude. dude, you're talking about these are like the jams, dude. Every time, I'm just like what? Fuck yeah. yeah. So for push, you you go back to Virginia, you show where you grew up and all that. How was it? Like how was that process? How was it going back to Virginia with? Was it like how were you being filmed back in Virginia? Was it weird for you or was it? 
No, it was mellow. We, we, we strictly, me, Steve, Vera, and then a couple of the homies that were filming the uh-huh. Push Project, like behind the scenes type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went and got an Airbnb because I don't really stay with my family. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you just want to do your own thing. Right, right. Yeah, so we got, a, we got an Airbnb, and we just, like, filmed – where I grew up and how shit happened, I do. Did you actually uh, get any tricks for your part out there in Virginia? Or did you just do the interview stuff and then come back here? No, we um, we didn't skate street. Okay. There. Uh, we yeah, I know you went to that, like your, your park that you grew up Yeah, the right. park that I grew up and yeah. then uh, just telling where I grew up and how shit came about. Yeah. That was about it. I thought it was tight. Um, that how they showed kind of like your homies growing up. Like going back to your home park, with your homies talking about how you would get there so early that you would sleep at the skate park in the morning? Every That's insane. single day. I had a moped. I bought a moped. And I used to go to the- <laughs> <laughs> Did you been into these? Mo- yeah. Moped, motorcycle, I, 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 bike? I bought a fucking moped. And I used to skate park every single day. Almost before the sun came up. Skate for like a couple hours. Pass out at the park. And just... Have a couple hours for sleep and then just wake up and going. skate. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, wow. was that was it. That was it. That was it. That's yeah. right. And then, um, so Push Park comes out. One thing we talked to Jacob about that I want to hear your side of the story. I mean, not sir, like no, just no, no. Your, your perspective. Oh, sure. The the Unali backside flip the triple set in downtown LA. Mm-hmm. There was uh, an entire episode about you trying that trick. What was it like? So did you do? You did it on your birthday. Is that correct? No, that was on my birthday. On your yeah. birthday, you nollie backs up the yeah. first go. Yeah. I went, I mean, that day was first go. Yeah, yeah, not first try ever. But yeah, did, yeah. did you ollie it? No. You did it? You just rolled up and said, all right, you got to get it. Oh, yeah, we, w- we went to a skate park, and then we just tried it. And wow. somehow it worked out. You rolled away first go. Yeah. How was that? that? I mean, I don't know how it worked out. But That's yeah, amazing. Happened. That, that is so crazy. First, Jacob, it was cool talking to Jacob. He said that he woke up and that you get up way earlier than him. And you're like, hey, I way, way earlier. <laughs> he, said, he said Trevor was already up and you have to meet him there. He shows up, shoots the photo. You do it first try and, and that's a wrap. You guys yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how that shit happened, but hey, that's how it happened. That was- How'd you, how did you swerve security? Um... There was no really way to swerve them. They were already, already out. Yeah, I just got lucky. And they, they were already at the stairs. I just had to, like, kind of go around them. Yeah. Oh, okay, got you, got you. In the, in the episode, it was a different day when you were there. That they, right. You put those yellow mats out. And right, like, and they were being oh, hectic. Yeah, put, like, fucking these berries in front of the stairs so you, don't, you can't skate it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the, right before they put it out there, I happened to get it, so. And correct me if I'm wrong, you got hurt because of the security guard there, right? Didn't you land on the last step and, like, hurt your foot? Yeah, one of the times. Yeah. But it was fine. Okay. That was the time before that I Then you actually did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's that's crazy. Dude, I <laughs> you rolled up first go and I'll leave back to that foot. That is I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how that shit happened. It happened, though. It yeah, happened. I, got, I got lucky. I got lucky. <laughs> Um, so that's the push part, basically, and then we, we already mentioned Chronicles 3, but one thing I wanted to touch on was you're going on trips with, for Chronicles 3, you're going on trips with Costin, Lance Mountain, and obviously I'll never know the video. Yeah. But was it crazy? Like, like are you, you're sitting in the band, are you like, these are two dudes that, like, I've watched skate forever? No, 100%. Like, it just was, I've been looking up to those dudes for so long and going on trips with them. Yeah. Is insane just seeing how they skate and just being around them is fucking amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. That's right. Yeah. Who had your favorite part in that video? Corey Candy. DK killed it. Yeah, I was gonna say I think that's like a lot of hey, hey. a lot of people's. And Car- uh, Karsten. Karsten had. Yeah. It. I mean, everyone had a fucking. Dude, he. 
Carson found so many fucking S rails. I don't even. I didn't even realize that that many yeah, like existed bro. in the. I know. How <laughs> the fuck did he find so many? I have no idea. That was like the first thing I thought of. I was just like, where, where, and how? Like he, there, what? There's got to be like at least ten different ones in there. Straight up, straight up, yeah. Straight up. That was kind of the part that put Carson out there. That yeah, I mean, he got his board that night. Well deserved. Well deserved. Dude. That fool is amazing. As yeah, for sure. The random that stands out to me in that part is he does maybe it's a kick flip on a bump over bar, and right when he lands, he like front slappies his curve. Yeah, and then like, right. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, like he's skating. So you know? like, good he's so good at skating. Yeah, he's so good at skating. You get like the whole fuck, fuck this curve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that back flip is so rad. That ass. It's that, like, everyone knows who that dude is just strictly because of that part. Like even if you like if like. If you didn't know who he was before that shit, you're like, yo, that Carson dude goes. Oh, yeah, dead ass. He's like, this fool's killing Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time, first time I was, uh, maybe it's only happened once since I was there when he got his board. No, yeah, for, for, it was for, pretty for, rad to, like, witness. It was tight. Like, I think Scoop was up there and called you and Brad up on the stage. Yeah, And yeah, I was yeah. like, wait, what? Something's about to go down. Yeah. And they all ran out of Carson's board. Carson, so bro. Sick. That's yeah. That's just sick. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, those are really like two video projects you put out. And then obviously we mentioned the injuries back on your board. X Games next. Um, mm. X Games video part. Yeah. Real Street. What is when is what is the timetable for X Games Real Street? Um, Mike and Clay hit me up about two months ago. Okay. And is in December like seventh or something like that. Oh no shit! So, so yeah, but um. I already have enough footage for it. I'm just trying to put out a couple more clips for that part. Yeah. yeah. Have you traveled? I mean, have you traveled so far for X Games Real Street? Yeah, I just went to Hawaii with my brother and Blake Matthews. Okay. And Blake's filming the whole thing. So yeah. far. Sick. Everything else has been in LA, or did you get all the footage of what? No, I got about four tricks in Hawaii. Okay. And all the rest of the stuff is in Inland Empire. Yeah. Like in LA. Yeah. But mostly in LA. Okay. How do you like um I know I've heard a lot of people say and I mean it makes sense that no, they feel like skating in LA is kinda burnt out or it's like tough because there's so many tricks have been done. Do you ever feel like that or you kinda like do you try to find new stuff or how do you go about like working on part? Um I understand where people are coming from where they say that LA is a little burnt out, so you kinda kinda branch off and go mm -hmm. a little bit inland or to the valley or wherever else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I got a lot of stuff in LA and Hollywood and stuff. But no, you definitely have to. I feel like you have to like branch out sometimes just to get like a refresh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. If you're not stuck yeah. in the same stuff. No, yeah. I'll make sure. Sick. Um, is, do you know if like, I think in the past they've done the real streets only like a minute worth of footage? Is it like that? Yeah, 60 seconds. Okay. So is that what is that what they tell you going into it? Like, yo, it's it's kind of like a minute long kind of deal. No, yeah, it's a. They tell you, Mike Sinclair hit me up. He saw you trying to put out a X Games real street. And he's like, Fuck, I'm so down. And right. He's all sixty seconds of footage, and tell me who's gonna film it. Make it happen, kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, and he told me a totally. Day. Not that you have, not not that I want you to say the song, but do you have a song in mind? Well, for X Games Real Street, you can't really give them a song. They have everything already. Uh, they're, yeah, they're probably not trying to buy rights for. No, they're not trying to buy rights. It's yeah. whatever they already have. Type okay. Deal. Like, they, they're not gonna buy anything. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So I don't know what song I'm gonna use right yeah. now, but see what happens. Yeah. I mean, you still got time. A few months. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Well, it'll be done. another. It'll be another banger, dude. It's all good. Dude, I hope so. I hope fucking people. Hopefully, it's not like some like royalty free ass fucking i i home or iTunes song or some shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, you you almost every part we talked about you skipped around. No, yeah, yeah. It'll probably be some hip hop or something, but no, nah, there's no. I can't like send in anything that I would want to use. They yeah, already yeah. have everything mm -hmm. planned out. For sure. All right, Mike, do you want to, uh, should we get into the, the viewer questions? 
Yeah, fire the viewer questions up, dude. There's oh, some good yeah. ones. Oh, so let's see, let's see what the viewers want to know. Which, thank you for everyone that commented. Yeah. yeah. First. Yeah, yeah. Give them, give them their props. Yeah, yeah. Their names. Sunrise thank you Angel. everyone that commented. <laughs> Sunrise Angel on Instagram says, "Favorite skater or inspiration growing up?" Hey, quit that shit out. Yeah, I'm do I'm dealing with that same thing right now. <laughs> Cut that shit out. Favorite, uh, my, I'm sorry, my dog was tweaking on. Yeah, mine too, man. Mine too. Stop it. Lloyd, come here. How Stop. was uh who's your favorite skater or inspiration growing up? Oh, it's hard to choose one. No, 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 Every no, skater no, is hard to that's, that's a very hard one. Um tell you two, my all time favorite skater. Hey, stop it! I mean, Wes Kramer is. Oh, Wes Kramer is. That's a sick favorite. one, dude. Wes Kramer, Ashad. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ashad! By the yeah. way. Ah, Good ah, happy birthday, Ashad! Where? Uh, happy birthday, Ashad! For sure, for sure. Uh, uh, Wes Kramer, Ashad. Who else? Who else is? I'm trying to think. Hey, you're in two. I feel like. I'm trying to think. I mean, that's you, you so just mentioned legit two of the best skateboarders on the planet. That's so yeah. Okay. Actually, actually, right. I have a personal. Do you know who else I really like to like to watch? Tyler Sir. Ooh. Oh fuck yeah, dude, dude's a that's... beast, there, dude. Like Kellen James, are you kidding me? Undeniably no. G. Exactly, Kellen James. I fucking love watching that dude skate. Okay, so let's go to the next. Uh, next comment says, why are your switch heels so insanely clean from Mitchell? Oh, switch heel. There's the switch heel reference. There it is. But you know hey. what? I, I have a feeling that we're going to hear the word or the words switch heel a lot more in yeah. this, uh, in this conversation. <laughs> he knows it's a thing. Has <laughs> <laughs> that been one of your favorites forever? Switch heel and front shove is probably my favorite trick. See, there you go. Front shove. Let's go. Let's go! Crush up, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that shit. I love that shit. Me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, but what, what is it about? I mean, you, you've been into Switch Hill since you're little? I mean, that seems to be one of your tricks, down big stuff, right? Down 10 stairs at the barracks. First go. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I started, uh, started trying to do Switch Hills like, before I moved out here, I just liked him. You know yeah, what? Yeah. You know what gave me the inspiration for that? Yeah, who's the switch you on spray? Antoine Dixon. I almost said it. Ah, I legit. That was the name when you said Antoine, Antoine Dixon. Antoine. Bro. Antoine Dixon. He's got a good one. He has a great. Yeah, he's got the best ones, man. We all know that. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? How is this supposed to switch him like that? Switch him with the down. Yeah. Put it down. Um, you still skate with no insoles? Because Tom Cat. Yeah, that was a good one. I like that question. Where's Where's that fucking insole at? Show the kids. None. None. No insole. There you go, baby. What you question. On, you know what's funny? I've always been on this, but I don't know. I was just I decided to take out my insoles one day, and I was like, damn, I can feel my board so much better. Um, How the fuck does that work, though, man? I mean, I get, I get, I get feeling it. You better, gotta but find, how do you, you jump down stuff with that. Yeah, that's the thing is the impact. Like that's what the insole is fucking for. I don't know, bro. Hey, I grew up in Hawaii and no one wears shoes there. <laughs> no one. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. hey. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude! Best answer, best answer of all time. <laughs> I know, dude, almost, almost. <laughs> so, best, best answer of all time. Why, why does Trevor Colden not wear insoles? Uh, he's from Hawaii. They don't wear shoes there. Yo, straight up, you can go to school in Hawaii and you put your shoes in a cubby hole. And you... oh no, shit, no shit, that's and, sick. No, yeah, I, I think I just got used to it, and th this was my most comfortable situation. That's skating. Crazy. That's mind blowing, dude. I I totally get the board feel thing. The, the no insoles just blows my mind. My, my feet hurt. My feet hurt just thinking about it. You ever done something big and, and your feet hurt and you're like, man, I wish I had insoles in right now. You're just used to it. How long have you been skating no insoles? Forever, right? I mean, like a while. I feel like seven years. Ever since ever since I lived in California. 
That's crazy. Uh, Mark, Mark Carmona, Carmona asked, um, what would you be doing if you weren't a professional skateboarder? I wasn't a professional skateboarder. I would probably be cooking. Like, oh, I'd chef. Be a chef type deal. In a restaurant? I would, I, yeah, I, like, I, like, I really like cooking. That's that. Yeah. What would you like? To, what do you like to cook? What's your favorite meal to, yeah. to make? I mean, I cook everything. <laughs> um, I like to cook a lot of vegetables and pastas. Okay. To tell you the truth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's are you a, are you a vegetarian? I used to be a vegetarian, but nah, not anymore. How'd but, you make the switch? How'd you make the switch from veggies to meat? Well, it was just like an experience. Like I was just like, eh, fuck it. I want to try and be healthy for like a couple years. So I just tried it out. It was completely fine. And then all of a sudden, I was like, damn, I want some. I want some meat. You need some cardio. <laughs> <sauna. laughs> wow. Yeah. So my first piece of meat after being a vegetarian for a two, almost two years, was Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> What would you get? Classic chicken sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I would have thought it would have been carne asada tacos for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I was living in San Diego though, so. Oh, good point. <laughs> well, hey, dude, that's funny. Or Rico's. I got a fucking carne asada burrito. <laughs> Where did we just see? What Mexican spot did we just see? Yeah. Fiesta. Cold? Yeah, yeah, it was Fiesta something. Fiesta. He just ate, he just ate some tacos right before. What'd you get, Grant? I ate some tacos too. I, I, oh, no, you had a burrito. Oh, no, we I both had burritos. We both had burritos. I had a carne asada burrito. Come on. And you had a what? Something. something El Pastor burrito. burrito. El Pastor, that's what's up. They were that pork. Hey, pork. Need baby. that. Need that. Pork. Get that. Oh, that's as you pull those up real quick, yeah, uh, might as well. I'll, uh, I'll run through a quick uh, what, what went down this week. Miles Silva's dropped the numbers part. Um, on Thrasher, if you haven't seen that, he killed it 100%. 100%. Actually, Trevor's coming back. We talked about this earlier. You're hyped on Miles. Yeah, that fool's fucking so good. That it's part, insane. How that fuck, back tail on the shoot. How the hell is that fool doing switch flip front cut down hand? <laughs> oh God, right? The front feeble. Uh, in Barcy, where he gaps out to that bank and him and the filmer go down. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, oh, I don't understand. I got a good one here that says, Who do you think's been killing it all year, and who are you? Who is your pick for Sodi? Zion. Zion, right? Zion. Me too. Zion. <laughs> Me too. That's straight up, Mike. Hey, hold on. Zion or Zion is my bro. Zion no. or oh, Jamie Foy. Jamie Foy. Oh, you're fuck, dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you could give either one of those dudes it, and I'm not going to be bummed. Yeah, Zion's like my favorite skateboarder, bro, so I'm right there with you on that one. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. One of those two. Give him the trophy. No, I didn't actually. Give him the, give him the trophy. Yeah, the fucking trophy. Just give me <laughs> Yo, so, so we got, like, um, did you guys hear that, like, the we got two people for King of the Road announced? Uh, I? Who yeah. is it? It's we got real and foundation so far. Okay, where did you hear that, Mike? Foundation is for sure. Yeah, I mean, real's been posting about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, fucking dude. Uh, you no, yeah. One of my ho my homie told me about foundation. <laughs> I'm just like really fucking hoping that Corey Glick is on it, and I'm really fucking hoping that. Uh, dude, dude, Corey Glick has been fucking killing it. Oh, dude, he's fucking amazing. He's from out here. I've, oh, dude, yeah. I've seen Corey Glick since he was like 12 years old. Wait, where are you from? I'm from right outside Chicago. He's from oh. like an hour away from where I'm from. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. He's. Hey, he's yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Hey, yeah. I'll tell you right now, Chicago fucks with Trevor Colden. No, they don't. Really? <laughs> yes, they do. Are you kidding me, bro? Chicago fucks with the boy. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. When I, I when I when uh when the, when the news that you were coming on when when the news broke that you were coming on the show everyone got stoked dude, Hell everyone, yeah, everyone hit me up like fuck yeah bro, thank you so much that's yeah great. yeah anything else Mike I mean that's really yeah everyone that that's questions that people had yeah that's with. what I got I'm just hyped that we got to fucking hear about some past stuff some some upcoming glad, stuff. yeah some uh, some upcoming stuff I'm glad that we know that we got a a, a Trevor 
minute long part coming out. We got uh, a Trevor full part sitting on ice somewhere that's gonna shock the world. Yeah, we're there, dude. We'll all be all right. right. We got we got Trevor Footy coming, kids. You'll be all right. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm glad you told a story about a shot helping you out get on Nike. Uh, I had no, no yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah, it was um, it was a random situation. A shot hit me up, and I was just it worked out. Yeah, it just worked and out. You said and you said let's go. Yeah, swoosh me up. <laughs> <laughs> swoosh me up. Let's go. And now that we're talking about you and a shot, I have to mention that you and a shot weekend buzz is hilarious. That's the best. One of the best ones. <laughs> when, when, when he talked. Wait, have you seen it when they make the little cartoon when, when there's the, the old guy with the Doritos in the store? <laughs> I did see that shit. Goes, I did Jeffrey. see that. Yeah, dog, that is brilliant. Wow. Dude. Yo, I, shout out Rob Brink. We need to talk about Doritos because you literally you have multiple Dorito board graphics. That, yeah, yeah. What's up with the Dorito hype? Just been, dude, just hey, been munching up, on them? Forever? I moved out here. Didn't have any fucking money at all. And my diet was... Rice and beans at Chipotle and a bag of Doritos. That was it you for like. That? You hear that, kids? You want to get sponsored? Go take your insoles out and eat some fucking Doritos. No, but like, for real, like, that's, that's it was on some rice and beans and Doritos shit for a minute. <laughs> what, what flavor Doritos? <laughs> Spicy nuts, Yo, we gotta we gotta wow. keep this we gotta keep this trend up of asking the guests what their favorite snack foods are, dude. Yeah, I like this. This is funny. What was what was Messix again? Stouffer's yeah. lasagna. Yeah, from like Seven Eleven or oh, something. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> he would. <laughs> he would. That shit is yeah, so funny. Yeah. I was dying at that. That's really funny. All right. Well, that's really it, yeah. right, Mike? That's all I got. That's all we got. This is episode 125. Trevor Colden, thank you for coming on. Thank you guys for all your questions, and thank you guys for just letting me do this interview. 100%. Oh, dude, you fucking nailed it, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah. people are going to be stoked, dude. We're happy to have you on, man. Thanks again. I'm stoked to be on this shit. Oh, yeah. We'll be back.